Every mangled mass of steel has a story to tell. A tale of speed, guts, talent, style. driver willing to risk it all to create Hollywood's greatest moments. Stuntman Ignition. Oh, man, I asked for someone with bigger muscles. Hey, I'm Carl Steele, director and star of Strike Force Omega. After 15 years topping bills in action movies, they finally let me direct my own. I started off as a stub man like you. I should be doing the driving myself, but the studio says no way. Guess I'm too valuable, right? You bet your ass I am. Strike Force Omega is about a special ops unit secretly bankrolled by the U.S. Stopping a group of mercs from hijacking some nasty WMDs in the former Soviet state of Kyrgyzstan. You'll mostly be doubling for me, the squad's butt-kicking leader, Commander Black. You'll drive a souped-up army-style truck with 50 caliber auto turret. It's a badass with a capital B. Anyway, lots of my fans still think I do my own stunts, so you better be good. I got a reputation to protect. Now I need to go book up for my next fight scene. I'll see you on the set. What? You looking for an autograph? Hey, Marcus, get him one of those commemorative eye patches. I'll tell you, nothing beats working with a director who thinks he should be driving for you. I've worked with Steele before, and trust me, he's not easy to please. But the good news is the man knows how to make an exciting action film, so we've got some killer stunts lined up. Some of the vehicles in this movie are heavily armed and include a modified dune buggy, a motorcycle, an unwieldy semi towing a giant Scud missile, and Commander Black's heavily armed assault vehicle, the Scorpion. The location is mostly open desert terrain, where you'll be driving on loosely packed dirt, but you'll also need to weave your way through the Strike Force base, where there isn't much room to maneuver. You'll also have your first chance to use nitrous, giving you an extra punch of speed when you need to make that fast escape. Listen to me and hit your marks, and you should walk away with some impressive additions to your reel. You'll start as a Strike Force Omega operative trying to get a stolen Scud missile back to base. The focus stunt is a sideswipe of a combat bus. Don't aim straight for the bus, or you'll get drawn out too far. Instead, aim for the gap in the bridge ahead. That'll line you up so you can veer slightly to sideswipe the bus before taking the gap. Alright, stuntman. Let's see what you can do behind the wheel of this bad boy. Three, two, one, action! Hit the dune buggy. Get between the dune buggies. Three, two, one, action! Hit the dune buggy. Get between the dune buggies. Hit the gap. Action! Hit the dune buggy. Gap between the dune buggies. 
buggy. Gap between the dune buggies. Hit the gap. Three, two, one, action! Hit the dune buggy. Gap between the dune buggies. Hit the gap. Three, two, one, action! Hit the dune buggy. Gap between the dune buggies. Three, two, one, action! Hit the dune buggy. Gap between the dune buggies. Hit the gap. Hit the combat bus. Scrape right. Through the gap. Take out the motorcycles. Three, two, one, action. Hit the dune buggy. Gap between the dune buggies. Combat bus. Scrape right. Through the gap. Three, two, one, action. Hit the dune buggy. Gap between the dune buggies. Hit the gap. Hit the combat bus. Scrape right! Through the gap! Take out the motorcycles! Hit the dune buggy! Three, two, one, action! Hit the dune buggy! Gap between the dune buggies!
gap between the dune buggies. Hit the gap. Hit the combat bus. Straight right. Through the gap. Take out the motorcycles. Hit the dune buggy. Pass close to explosions. Hit the gap. Scrape the vehicle. Pass close to weapons fire. Hit the ramp. Detach the trailer. Now, you'll, you'll double, double for a Strike Force scout, scout returning, returning to base with vital, vital intelligence. A challenging stunt is an aerial gap through a passing semi and into its trailer. Come over a hill, then straighten up fast so you can aim for the jump. Don't make last second adjustments once you're on the ramp, that'll mess you up. After you land, you'll need to slide beneath a second trailer, so be ready. If you're any good on a bike, this shouldn't be too tough. I expect you to nail it. Overtake left. Overtake right. Three, two, one. Action. Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Three, two, one. Action. Overtake left. Overtake right.
fire. Through the gap. Three, two, one. Action. Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Turn right. Fire weapon. Close to the explosion. Hard left. Pass close to weapons fire. Through the gap. Slide under. Pass close to weapons fire.
Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Three, two, one. Action! Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Turn right. Fire. Three, two, one. Action! Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Three, two, one. Action! Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Turn right. Fire weapon. Close to the explosion. Hard left. Pass close to weapons fire. Through the gap. Slide under. Pass close to weapons fire. Tabletop over the bridge. Three, two, one. Action! Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Turn right. Fire weapon. Close to the explosion. Hard left. Pass close to weapons fire. Through the gap. Three, two, one. Action. Overtake left. Overtake right. Action! Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Turn right. Fire weapon. Close to the explosion. Hard left. Pass close to weapons fire. Through the gap. Slide under. Pass close to weapons fire. Tabletop over the bridge. Three, two, one. Action! Overtake left. Overtake right. Through the gap. Turn right. Fire weapon. Close to the explosion. Hard left. Pass close to weapons fire. Through the gap. Slide under. Pass close to weapons fire. Three, two, one. Action! Overtake left. Overtake right. Three, two, one. Action.
close to weapons fire. In this scene, you'll double for an enemy merc rampaging through the SFO base. The key stunt is a weaving triple overtake. Once you're in the base, drift left as quickly and sharply as possible so you can set up your line. Then thread between the three semis as they come straight at you. You'll pass right, then left, then right. This is another high-risk stunt, so keep it safe. Three, two, one. Action! Close to the explosion! Pass close to the explosion! Drift turn right! Close to the explosion! 
Two. 
Okay, now you'll double for Commander Black, protecting a strike force convoy when they're ambushed by the Mercs. A challenging line starts with you hitting two motorcycles at the exact same time, which will make them both explode. Then immediately throw a 180 and quickly line up so you can avoid the semi that's speeding straight for you. Once you've passed the semi, veer left to take out the next bike. Okay, it's Commander Black time. If you've been holding any mojo back, you better show it now. Three, two, one. Action! Through the gap! Take out the motorcycle! Roll one e. Three, two, one! Action! Through the gap!
In this scene, you'll play as Commander Black, escaping another ambush. The highlight is the use of nitrous to aid your getaway. There's a tricky line after your second burst of speed. You'll smash into the back of a Merc buggy, knocking it into the air. Then pass beneath the collapsing silo before it falls and immediately let off the gas so you can drift hard left and stay on the road. Oh yeah! We're bringing the night. Three, two, one, action! Activate Nitro and jump to the sign! Drift right! Or take the car! Take 
Action! Alright kid, this next scene calls for another difficult stunt you haven't tried before, so let's get you ready. It's called the pipe ramp jump, and it uses a specially modified ramp to throw your car into a barrel roll. To perform the jump, line your passenger side wheels to hit the raised side of the ramp. That's what will cause your vehicle to roll. It's important to hit the ramp fast so you get a high altitude. That'll give you enough time for a good full rotation. Hit the ramp slow and you're guaranteed to mess up. Soon as you leave the ramp, you can use the left analog stick to help rotate your vehicle and make sure you fully righted yourself for the landing. Your jump car will be outfitted with a steel roll cage, but trust me, you don't want to land upside down. Okay? Want to give it a try? In this last scene, you'll double for Commander Black again, distracting the mercs with a final chase while his men evacuate the country. The feature stunt is the pipe ramp. Fire your weapon just before the jump, then go heavy on the throttle and hit the ramp like we rehearsed. After you're airborne, you'll smash through a watchtower mid-spin. When you land, veer to the left and get back on the main road and continue the run. This last scene isn't for the weak of heart, boy, but it's what my fans expect. So suck it up, and let's go! Three, two, one, action! Pass close to the explosion! Close to the explosion! 
explosion. Pass close to weapon fire. Get the jump. Three, two, one. Action! Pass close to the explosion. Close to the explosion. Left. 
One. Action! As close to the explosion. Close to the explosion. Pass close to weapons fire. Get the jump. Through the gap. When the fate of the world hangs in the balance, who will answer the call? We come in peace, blazing a trail of justice in a land of corruption. Fighting terrorists at the four corners of the globe. Bring me the weapons where I kill the hostages. A helpless nation has nowhere else to turn. If those nukes reach American soil, we'll all be glowing. They are their only hope. See you in hell. Send me a postcard, scumbag. Negotiations are over. Die, capitalist. Boy, boy.
There's more to stunt driving than feature films, kid, especially if you want to be known as the best in the business. Whenever I can, I'll get you other stunt work to help pad your resume and your wallet. These jobs will include stunt shows at the nation's biggest amusement parks and TV commercials. Cross-marketing is a huge part of the movie industry, so all these commercials will have tie-ins to the films you're stunting in. The work will come in periodically if you get your ranking high enough to grab each client's attention. They're all tricky jobs only the elite drivers are hired to do, so there's no room for error. One strike, and they'll automatically call a reshoot or restart the show. Well, that about covers it. I've got your first job lined up now. Ready to get your feet wet? In this show, you'll drive a bike that's on fire, causing explosions as you drive close to propane tanks and other vehicles. The big moment in the show starts with a slide beneath this semi, igniting it, then throw a 180 between the propane tanks, making them blow up too. As soon as you've spun around, line up for the big ramp and gun it hard. Hit your NOS switch and take the monster jump onto the roof. Two. 
just witnessed the most extraordinary stunt driving I've seen in 19 months of announcing! In this commercial, you'll play a citizen of darkdom driving the new Venus Vexation sports car. The gags that you outdrive Night Avenger because your car is so fast. You'll be using Nitro, and the key run happens during your second boost. Speed past the exploding cars and under the torch semi. Then overtake Night Avenger on the left and end with a huge drift right. Turning will be hard at high speed, so you'll have to anticipate the stunts early.